Hi guys, it's Tanya Lee Davis, and welcome to Small Talk, episode 8. It's uh, March 28th, 2020. Uh, so it's a Sunday. Every day feels like a Sunday. That's the problem. Um, I really wanted to go outside today, and it turns out it was a lot chillier than I expected. But I did go across with Kevin to our little, um, grocery store, Tesco Metro, across the way from us. And what they've done is they've sectioned off the entire store now with tape in squares. And you're only allowed one person per square in the store. So it's like Tetris when you're moving around now. It is the most bizarre thing. And Kevin stepped into one guy's square and he just about freaked out. And it's just like, this is where we're going, guys. So bizarre. And then we were going to go out, sit outside and I was going to do my dance video and this outside. But the wind was too chilly. So we came inside. I ended up having a chat with my buddy Bob up in Scotland. He is hysterical, not a comedian. I met him in Los Angeles when I moved there in like 1997. Uh, he lived in the, the same apartment building as Pam and I. It was like Melrose Place, but we had this really fun Scottish guy that was the life of the party. Anyway, Bob lives in Edinburgh with his 92-year-old uh, dad. And he, Bob is one of the most fascinating people I've ever met. And he was telling me how in their neighborhood on their street, he started this um, thing that they're doing where they're growing watercress. Watercress is very easy to make because you put watercress inside a bucket of watercress and it makes more watercress. Um, and then you just sort of pass it on. And, uh, and I've never really been a fan of the taste of watercress, but apparently it's very nutritious, uh, according to Bob, and he studies horticultural stuff. Uh, what he did tell me, which I thought was quite fascinating, is it does require a bit of fertilizer. And the best fertilizer in the world, apparently, is human urine. Yeah! So don't get any ideas. You're not actually supposed to pee on the watercress. He did mention this. He said you pee a little bit in the, a bucket of water and you dilute it and then you pour it in and you mix it in. Nobody needs to know. But there's an extra bit to this. Uh, apparently, male urine only, not female urine. And you're going, Tanya, what's the difference? Well, female urine has estrogen in it. And apparently if you start eating watercress that has a lot of estrogen in it and you're a man, you might get some man boobs. So anyway, uh, what they're doing on Bob's street is they are making buckets of watercress. Then Bob will break it up and then drop a bucket over to his neighbors and then they will grow their own watercress and then they'll separate it and then they take it over and give it to their neighbor and so on and so on. It's a constant regeneration of watercress, which is very easy to make. Interesting little tidbit. As far as recommendations go, I am actually going to be on a show on Tuesday, March 31st. Um, it will be at 10 a.m. GMT. That's London time, 10 a.m. And it will be through uh, Zoom. Zoom, Zoom, right? Zoom. And I will send the link to, through all my social media stuff. It's called um, uh, Cheer Up Love. So I will be on there with Davina McCall, who some of you may recognize, and Tiff Stevenson, and uh, Adam Rushton, who's my agent, and then Reverend Richard, whose name I can't remember. Anyway, so I will send the link out. Uh, I think it's coming out tonight or tomorrow. So check that out. Anyway, that's my quarantine diary for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Stay safe.